Andrew. Look at, there's our Eduardo. These guys are enjoying. Ooh, oh my goodness. Why is the gimbal... Why is the gimbal being weird? These guys are all enjoying their awesome playground. Look at them, there's Brawny. And Riley is over here. Oh, Tuxie is here. here here's down here. Gus Gus. Look at these. Ooh. Man, I'm not having any luck with this gimbal. <laughs> so, the cats are enjoying their playground today. How are you supposed to? Maybe you're supposed to hold it more like that. The beautiful... Furball Farm Cat Sanctuary Playground. Hello everyone, good evening. Look at there's Tuxi. Oh my goodness. How do you get this gimbal to not flip out? <laughs> I don't know, maybe stand in one place. So Seems like the gimbal is charged, but it's being odd. It's a peaceful evening. Lori is here, yes. Yeah, she will be doing her the eight o'clock live on Facebook today. So stay tuned for that. Yay. Why? I I don't think why is the gimbal doing that? Did I grab the wrong gimbal? <laughs> oh my goodness, this thing is weird. All right. So if you guys are new, this is Furball Farm Cat Sanctuary. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I might have to take it off this thing. It's like the fifth time it's done that um we are a cage-free cat sanctuary for feral cats we house over 350 cats here at our sanctuary hi, hi janice janice why is this gimbal being weird <laughs> ah it doesn't it doesn't stay up <laughs> Oh, your this gimbal is stupid. <laughs> we'll have to see how long we do this gimbal because it's being strange. But it uh, it produces a nicer image. That's why um it's a so the gimbal is a it's a stabilizer. Here's Jaden down here. And it um allows the camera to move more slow not when that happens. Oh my goodness, this is bad. We don't have, we, I think the manual instructions are thrown away and I think I'm doing everything correctly. We had a training session on this a while back. So there's Jaden. It like gives out. So here at our sanctuary, we house over 350 cats and Jaden is one of them. They all come in as feral or under socialized strays. Right, Jaden. Jaden is, oh my goodness. I think I can't use this gimbal. Jaden is a very chunky kitty. But here at Furball, we um, house it says the battery is full charge, so I'm not sure. I'm just going to help hold it. <laughs> it has over 350 cats. Um, and we work with them to help socialize them 
towards people. Oh my gosh, this thing is weird. And um, a lot of times it takes quite a bit of time, but um, look at them playing, isn't that cute? We always enjoy um, when people come and help us socialize them towards people. I thought on today's live we would kind of talk about a couple of the cat's stories. Um, I had a list of cats that I was going to do, but now that the gimbal is being strange, I can't look at my list. <laughs> So we might have to um, yeah, I think I'm I don't know. this gimbal is being really strange. Um, I, th I will have to wing it so because we, we can't see the cats. Uh, oh, look at them playing over there. So we have volunteers here the majority of the day, um, and we have security cameras and um, babysitters on Twitch watching 24-7. These kitties can't get away from, uh, from anything. They can't get away with anything. Yeah, I think we might have to use it on a... A tripod. There's Jada running around. And there's Miss Heidi. She's one of the Brady Bunch cats. Um, the Brady Bunch cats were a bunch of cats that um, were populating faster than people thought cats were able to do. Um, and they asked for us to help them. We took 10 of them. She's gonna run off. Oh, there's Kenny. He's over here. Um, I think this is Jordan. So every cat that we have, they come with a story. A lot of their stories are hard to remember, but majority of them were a very, there's Chase up top, a very harsh, uh, background you see chase way up there and um being trapped inside of the magic um trapping box aka a live trap and brought to furball is a relief for a lot of these cats I'm on Twitch. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is what our cameras is one of our cameras is right up there. Yes, everyone has a story. There's Lena. Um many of our cats are from dangerous um situations again like I said. For example, they could be from um an area that they were being poisoned or an area that they potentially were going to be shot at, or the feeder um, is no longer there, or they're next to a highway. Um, lots of different, lots of different um, stories. What's my story? I don't have a story. I'm boring. <laughs> Look at all these guys enjoying the the view. See if any of these. Some of our cats did come together, um, but many of them I feel like came separately. The duck, yeah, the duck did bite the dust. Easter's over, I guess. Yes, um, Tuxie three, he lost his leg. 
Um, he had a leg injury prior to coming to Furball. He was from the Aust um, Austin area of, in Minnesota, so Austin, Minnesota. Um, and he had a prior leg injury, so he had to have his leg amputated. Um, so the cat with the limp, you're probably talking about um, Gilligan. And Gilligan was, uh, he's a black and white cat. He's none of these cats, but this is such a cool uh, setting to see all these cats um, watching the sunrise or the woods or whatever they're looking at. Um, but Gilligan came from an area where, um, oh, there's Tuxi right there. Obviously, I don't think uh, cats were wanted in that area because they had, or cats and or other animals because they were putting out traps, like beaver traps. I believe that's what Mr. Gilligan might have stepped, stepped on. Um, and he lost his couple front toes, if I remember that correctly. Look at how, how well Tuxi gets around. Isn't that awesome? Cats are definitely um, frisky tonight and enjoying their playground. So when you come here, uh, you will be able to come and see pictures and catalogs of all these cats. And just know when you're looking through them that each of the cats do have a story. There's Boo. There, there goes Boo. <laughs> Here's Art. Art, be Art came um, from living behind a Chinese restaurant, I believe. He came with Penelope, and I think another cat. Um, Julie, was the, the restaurant owner feeding these cats? I know there was a, there's a restaurant in town. They didn't come from in town. Isn't he such a big cat? Um... They didn't come from a restaurant here in Faribault, but there's a restaurant here in Faribault where I, um, I was told that they feed the cats scraps, <laughs> the stray cats. Art is not adoptable. So one of the, um, one of the things that determines a cat to be adoptable Art, you're not going to look, you're just looking out there, um, is being able to get them into a kennel. And he's, I believe he is older too. Um, oh, there was an intersection, so it was dangerous. Yes, that would make um, sense as to why we have them. It is a scary, being on an interse uh, se intersection um, is a very scary um, thing for a cat. I mean, it would be for any for anyone. Right, Art. Were you living on an intersection? <laughs> um, now I forgot what I was talking about. Let's see who else we can, we can find and see if we can know their story. So this is Sylvia, this black and white one. Oh, and there Sylvia goes. <laughs> but Sylvia was part of a group that we got a large amount of or I feel like quite a few cats, like Sylvia and Brody and Mason, they came from this area, but they were living behind a um, a Cub Foods in a town called Buffalo. And there's Dumbledore. Um, I believe they were not safe in that area, so we had a professional live trapper that worked and got... Um, Many of those kitties, including Sylvia, Mason, um, Brody. Here's Dumbledore. <laughs> so if you're looking to adopt one of our cats, our lovely cats, let's go see another kitty. You have to be within, this is Sarah over here, within a... two hour radius, right Sarah? And, um, oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, 
to adopt one of our cats, you have to be within a two hour radius because our cats do come with baggage. Like Miss Sarah, Sarah, she is um, become very friendly now. Uh, and I can't really touch her because my, I'm holding the phone and the gimbal at the same time. <laughs> so I don't even know um, how this is gonna work, but uh, Sarah has become really friendly. But if you wanted to adopt Miss Sarah right here, um, you would, you would have to um, be within two hours of our sanctuary because um, she does come with baggage. She came in as a feral kitten um, and uh, she will probably hide for quite a while when you do take her home. So we like to ensure that our adopters know that and um, we wanna make sure that if the cat needs to come back, they do come back. I want to make sure our kitties are happy. Right, Sarah? Who else do we have in here? Here's Tori. K Tori was from a town called Kilkenny. Like Ireland. I don't remember her full story. I think she showed up on somebody's farm. And there's some kitties sleeping up there. Let's go see who else. You can see. I think I'm gonna have to. I don't know. This <laughs> this gimbal is not being nice to us. We'll have to try the tripod next time. Oh, there's Gary. That's uh, Gary. One of our other blue kitties. All right. Gimbal, are you going to cooperate again or no? <laughs> Here's Mr. Clarence. Okay, let's see if we can go inside. Yes, this gimbal is crazy. <laughs> so we would love for you guys to come and visit. And get to know these kitties. Look at them all, they all think it's street time. The music is off, they're ready. They're ready for their treats. Chris is being adopted this weekend. Chris. <laughs> yeah, crazy Chris. Look at this. This is something you guys want to come and see in person, isn't it? Look at all these awesome cats. They love each other. Isn't this so cool? So we have daily visiting hours from one to five when you can come and help us socialize these cats towards humans. Make them like people so that they potentially could go and be adopted to a forever home. If, if they aren't happy in that said home, they're always welcome back, but we like to make sure that they um, get the proper amount of time and adjustment to the home. Yes, we, feed, we free feed um, soup and dry food all day long. I'm just, I'm going to take this gimbal off because, well, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, we free feed gimbal and, and, uh, or, oh my gosh, we free feed food and dry food and soup all day long. Let's go look at a soup. Look at these guys. This is, um, Joel's sister. Joel is a kitty that I Adopted. This is his sister. They came from a farm here in Fairbow. From a situation where the farm owner didn't know how fast cats reproduced. Let's go see our soup. Now we free feed gimbal. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, we got a cleanup on aisle four. So our soup is over here. and our dry food. So we make soup daily. 
I um, mean, we make quite a bit of it. So we go through tons and tons of, uh, <laughs> uh, of canned cat food, approximately 350 cans, as we have 350 plus cats. Therefore, we go through a lot of, a lot, a lot of soup. And the cats are very blessed on all the donations that they receive to help take care of them. Look at them. Um, but we're always looking for more donations um, to help us uh, take care of these cats. So in our soup, is a, it's a mixture of canned cat food, uh, lysine, pumpkin, 100% pure pumpkin, um, water, and... <laughs> Look at the. <laughs> they also get snack time and they think it's snack time now. Uh oh. It's, be it's because the music is off and um, the phone is out. We're talking about them. <laughs> Otis shave job. Do you guys see him? They're all lying to you, Lori. <laughs> Sometimes they like getting special snacks. Look at all the cats way up top, too. They're all looking like, um, it's time. <laughs> so if you're looking for something to donate, Forest, be nice. we're always in need of canned cat food, um, Perino One urinary tract dry food. These cats say they're always in need of um, party mix and temptations <laughs> and true that's what they always want look at them all waiting isn't that funny they have their back backs like um they're ready so the cats here they listen to a lot of classic rock um they like to jam out to they like sometimes they're like head slammers and um you know country. It really depends on the night, what night it is, what they're kind of feeling. Right, guys? They want a YouTube treat time. You know, maybe we'll have to add a YouTube treat time because they say we get a Facebook one. Why not a, a YouTube one? Right? Yeah, they want catnip too. That's something they always want. Um, The social media phone is a clock to them. Yes, probably. No, but the cats, that's their soundtrack. They, they love those musics. <laughs> at least our cats. Your own cats might not. Oh, look at Tuxie 3 is inside. Tuxie 3 is going to go home in June or July, I heard. Are you, that's going to be um, a bittersweet one, you know? We all love T Mr. Tuxie 3. He's probably eating soup right now. Let's go say hi to... Um, yes, when the music is off, it's time for treats. Oh, Tuxie's eating soup. What do they do at 9 a.m.? Oh, oh Tuxie. What do they do at 9 a.m.? Well, I guess they're, they're only... They think at certain times. Look at Cecilia, and like when specific uh, cats like Cecilia and Sheldon start meowing, they all kind of know. She's even kind of letting me pet her. <laughs> because, you know, it's kind of like the, um, the boy who cried wolf, even though it's like the cat who cried for treats, even though it's not treat time yet. And they made all the cats keep coming. They always come when like Sheldon... Yeah, was, there's Will. Look at all these awesome cats living up on each other. Millie and Artemis, Peter Parker. Isn't that cute? Well, there's another one of the Brady Bunch cats playing with a butterfly. That's Peter. And there's a Vive. Hi, Aviv. <laughs> because she's like, don't talk to me. Aviv. 
So um, I seen the cat ranch. Um, you guys, com she commented, or whoever is on that account commented, who did that haircut? I just want you to know. Let's see if we. I don't know where the. Um, let's see. Let's go see Otis's haircut. There he is. He's right there. Do you guys see him? He's grooming himself. He's taking it all in. Um, what happened was Julie, she did a, like a, a super fast flight. And she came up here for a couple hours and Julie scissor hands um, cut Otis's hair. Doesn't it look nice? <laughs> but now he's gonna need a jacket. <laughs> look at all these guys. Isn't that so cool? They're all like, feed me. I know what time it is. So yes, Otis's haircut was done by Julie. And she doesn't even know it. <laughs> all right. I think we will go... So anytime you see a cat's um, hair cut, just know that Julie took the time and came up here <laughs> and um, did her magic. <laughs> She's de Julie's definitely um, taking applications for people who want haircuts. So we do not have any Sphinx cats. I don't think a Sphinx cat that has no hair would do very well outside in the cold Minnesota. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What have I got myself into? I don't think a Sphinx cat would do very well in the cold Minnesota winter. <laughs> Otis wants a refund, probably. Okay, where is Mr. Jeremy? Jeremy has, oh, you have to hide the clippers at the ranch, I bet. <laughs> Here's Brielle. Hi, Brielle. Okay. Jeremy has a special request he has to, to ask some people. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so Jeremy's way, he's way back here. So I can't really reach him, especially since... Um, the gimbal was being weird. But Mr. Jeremy here, if you guys don't remember his story, he was living outside. Um, thank you, Nick, for the donation. Um, he was living outside, but we knew, um, we knew when he came here that he was not feral. He was somebody's, um, kitty before, and, um, he started... To become very sad and start um, shutting down here. But now he, uh, we took him to the vet to determine what was kind of going on with him. Um, and he is now starting to eat on his own, which is very good. But Mr. Jeremy has a favorite food. Um, and he would love for you to um, send us some of this food so that... He can continue to eat all of this yummy food and um, enjoy it. Yes, thank you so much, Nick Clark, for your donation. We hope you can come and visit and enjoy these kitties just as much as we get to. This is Jeremy's favorite food. Um, and he would love if you guys could send some. He's getting better every day. He also likes when we warm his food up for him. Um, but doesn't he already look better? Yes, he does. He's so cute. All right, we'll go see. We're going to end on somebody in here. Let's see what we'll end on. Visiting is free. We have visiting hours daily from 1 to 5. We suggest a donation. Gunner. Hi, Gunner. 
um, of $5 per person um, because we are a nonprofit and we rely solely on public donations. Um, and we would really appreciate uh, a donation to help us care for all these cats and continue to um, care for them daily and um, so we are able to do our low cost spay and neuter program as well. All right, uh, we hope that you have a good rest of your, um, of your Thursday. We will be going live on Facebook in approximately like 30 minutes. Um, so you can head over there. Lori will be going live. You can enjoy it. In the meantime, go on uh, our furball farm shop and order a cool Cedric shirt and get ready to wear it for your next live and have a wonderful day. Thank you for the, um, oh my goodness, Julius Pete is going crazy. He wants to be in the live. <laughs> um, thank you for the delectables donations. Mr. Jeremy is going to be greatly appreciative of that. All right, Gunnar says um, pop on to Twitch and we will see you at eight o'clock. Thanks for watching.